you should have never tell him so tiny. He's still a child. It's the weirdest feel sometimes. The boy is only term meant and moderation for me. It's he that have my precious womb high. He does make me get vexed and sin me soon. He go change, tiny. He's still young. He go never change. What is too bad? Just like my grandfather Joshua. Lazy, worthless, nasty, good for nothing, drinking, teething. But he's he was in the room shop as usual. He does go in the garden and change the cat all in the morning so he could have all day to sit down in the room shop and talk stupidness. When I look at how the old brute does carry on, it does make me wonder how he make a child like Peter. Peter was an angel. Them kind of people doesn't stop here long. God does want them for Himself. I just wonder if wherever he day, he just look down and see how we catching the men in here. And know he does see all you, and I'm sure he does take care of all you, especially Teresa. Teresa was the eyeball. He didn't want fly to light on she, so he loves she. He so she take after him, pretty and smart and good. You must be proud of she, eh? From this joke. In the graduation last year, when I sit down and I watch she grow up with a certificate and she special prize, I feel so good. I feel I'm the boss. She looks so pretty and so you know what I mean, so special. I never feel so in my whole life. It's a lucky woman to have a child like Teresa. If only she father the lift to see she grow up. How she get big, big and working in air condition office in town. God did love that child. To she fought. She could have never done nothing wrong for him. He used to put she on his shoulder and carry she down by the bay to watch them shoot scene. And when he bring fish, he used to cook it himself. And you know what part of the fish Teresa did like and what he used to give she all the time? The eye. He used to give she the fish eye every time. But how come you never married again? I had a good man. And God took him. And I satisfy with that. I don't know how no man come and confuse my brain. Man does come with a mouth dripping with milk and honey. And when they take all what you get and they get fed up with you, they just want to beat you up and take what you work hard for and give the outside You mean a deputy? Mm -hmm. And the next thing they go want to do is put themselves with Teresa. And that is what I'm going to get hanged for. Is Teresa working out my suitcase now? Because she tell me she wants to go to university next year. And I have to help she. It's a pity while in her summer she ambition. All of the chance and you waste it. I walk like a horse to send me to school, draining me blood to water to pay school fee and transportation. And wait, not one damn thing, not even one subject to give me consolation for all the years I sweat and slave to send him to school. Then I send him a law trade. The next thing is he and another boy fighting the man place. The man say, "Why well, no hooligan in the place?" He send the two of them home. Now all he doing is beating, pan, smoking weed and gambling. Last year we get 10 days with special works. 10 days in the whole year. And if I don't give him three meals a day, tea, breakfast and dinner, people go say a wicked. But he's my child. He come from my belly. And I go provide for him till he feel him man enough to pack a bundle. But oh God, I do can't stand him sometimes. But Teresa, she different. She's a decent, proper young lady. Now the one nasty, scratchy skin boy hanging around she. She's a young woman. She must want a man. When she time come to get man, she go get man. But she time ain't come yet. When she come out of university, then she could marry and settle down with somebody good. Somebody in a proper work from a respectable family. I feel any man Teresa choose ain't gonna be good enough for you. If it's somebody good and with some kind of pedigree. I can 
first update C50 visa. Evening, Miss Glenda. Good evening, child. Evening, ma. How was your day? Bad enough, but I managed to survive. You survived, ma. You're a survivor. Me and your mama was just talking about your child. What were you saying about me, ma? I was just saying how lucky I is to have a daughter like you. I'm the lucky one to have a mother as you. You want something to drink? It has some more in the fridge. I think I'll change first, ma. I want to go for a swim. You really have a right to be proud of that child. Not like me. Them two I have the worthless more than the worthless one where you have. The last one come last again last all. And the first one? Well, he son not come nothing at all. <laughs> oh, no, me the door come nothing. It must come something, even if it's last. He didn't even go to school for the test. He went in the river and catch crayfish. Fast coming like the blasted crayfish and them with all the mess in the head. Well, I cut the tail well and proper. And you think that do any good? No, we worse than ever. He doesn't even go to school at all now. Oh God, what that? It sound like... It's the police, a whole jeep of them. Them boys by the front end breaking much like they mad and the police running after them. Oh God, look wild coming full speed. A police coming. Where he go? Who? Don't play games with me, woman. You bloody well know who I'm talking about. A young man just ran in here. What you want to do, beat him up? I can take you in for this. For what? Obstructing the police in the execution of their duty. I'm not obstructing you. What's there? It's my kitchen. And there? It's my bedroom. Don't you have the decency to knock first? If anybody gone through there, there must be rich more right I know. I'm making a fish broth if you want to wait for so. And she does make a proper fish broth. I have a good mind to take all of you in. What are you doing in my house with butter in your hand? A young man running here. I want him. What you do, Sergeant? I am the one doing the questioning. And it's not Sergeant, it's Inspector. You come in the village, driving like you're crazy. Then all of start running down people all over the place and shooting guns. Now you come in my house with butter in your hand and expect me to sit down like a dog while you walk all over me. Not in my house, Sergeant. I still have my rights. When the police is after a suspect, you have no rights. I know enough to know you can't come in my house looking for nobody or nothing without a, a search warrant. You have a search warrant, Sergeant? Old man, you're looking for a whole lot of trouble. And I told you already, it's not Sergeant! All I ask him is if you have a search warrant. You could only fight them people who fear to them. I done live my life already. I could go home now. I do enough in this world. I could live. I buy me four pieces of cedar board, and I try to make my box. So last you know, you're going to be doing me a favor. I go be fought to death with one blow, then to lay down with stroke and death slow. So hit me, like your faith, Sergeant. If one of them young boys get hurt, I will make such a noise, the bone to hear me. You really think anybody would bother if the police damage a few weed smokers in a little backward village in Tobago? All the police feel you could do as all well, very well please and get away with it. Our duty is to enforce the law. If they stay within the law, we won't bother them. So if they smoke the weed, that gives you the right to hunt them down and shoot them and kill them? The boy and them so frustrated they can't get walk, so they're drifting like dry coconut on the sea. So they smoke the weed, like me and you just drink with God, to ease yourself, to get some relief. Don't give me that bull, old man. They are just a bunch of troublemakers. And if I catch one of them, just one of them, I would make an example of him. Let me tell you something, Sergeant. I have a grandson there. He might not have a certificate and things, but he have a right to live in freedom without the police harassing him and running him down. And let me tell you something else. If anything happened to that boy, he better you kill me. Because I'm gonna kill you. You were threatening a police officer, old man? No, Sergeant. I'm just telling you what I'm gonna do. I remember that. They run today, and they will run tomorrow. But one day, somebody's not going to run. And when that day comes, make up your mind to fight. I never back out from a fight, old man. Don't let them fight me. It's only the gun around their waist that make them feel like it's man. Wrong! Yes, he's gone. But he don't come back. 
not today or tomorrow or one of these days. And if you continue running, you're going to run till the day you're dead. My father is to tell me, fear God and have no other fear. Fear no man, boy. But them police have gone and they like to shoot. I know. But one of these days, you have to stand up and fight. With what? Stick and stone? When the time comes, you won't get the right weapon. You got to be tough to face life, boy. Your father was kind of soft. Don't try and bat up my dead husband. He was a gentleman, not a rabbi and a drunkard like you. So he's a rabbi and a drunkard. When Peter pick you up, he pick you up from, and your own father didn't want to see you on your two little picnic. Is the same rabbi and drunkard they take you in and put shelter on the head? Wasn't me you do it for? What's for your grandchildren? Yeah, no time to argue with you till you know, man. I want to teach my grandson to be a man. And let police beat him up like they nearly beat you up just now. Police doesn't beat up people, so there's had a hide to do it. Come on, Raul. I'm going for my swim now, ma. Be careful, girl, with them police around. Show, ma. <laughs> I just feel just rubble and wrong guy said kill stupid. I thought you wanted them dead. Oh, man does talk stupidly when she vexed. But deep down inside, she does only want the best for her children. <laughs> 